Okay, I'm at the Hoot Convention with Judy Westergaard Jenkins, and she's got a brand new book called Chalk It Up. And it is a magnificent book, and I'm super excited because it's a technique I've never seen before. Okay, some of the projects that are in the books, we've got a tissue box for messy minds and trays, and the Santa who's the most beautiful, just really beautiful pieces. And she's done the project, this is one coming up at the World of Color, um, that's not in the book, and she's doing, oh it's in the book yes. and it's going to be taught at World of Color, sorry. Mm -hmm. And then she's doing this in a really unique way which we're going to get to next. Can you tell us, tell us about this technique and why I thought it was chalky paints, like just the deco art chalky paints, and I didn't realize um, what you were doing, so show us. Okay, Penny, it's chalk in every way, shape, and form that you can come up with. On the piece, life is uncertain, eat dessert first. Everything on the top is done with chalk pencil. If it's white, it's chalk pencil with the exception of the frosting and the kerchief on the bird. I simply <laughs> trace my pattern. I do my chalking, and then I use the IPC brushes. And what is IPC? Detailing. IPC are Dynasty's small foam, uh, they're a small detailer foam. IPC stands for Ink, Paint, and Chalk. Okay, excellent. So these brushes can be used on lots of things. This is a detailer, and this is a brush that I do a lot of blending with, and it's a point blend. I also use these to remove chalk where I don't want it. Okay, so now wait, chalk in my mind, you're using a pencil that's chalk, and that yes. says to me that it's going to fall off. Like, okay. how do you make it stay? Okay, I'm using uh, General's charcoal white pencils. I do all of my chalking, and then when I've got it cleaned and dusted it off and removed any tracing lines that I don't want, I spray it with Krylon Workable Fixative. This is what the colored pencils people ah, use. Patty. So that's the magic bullet. Yes. Okay. And when you spray it on, you want to make sure you don't have any tracing lines showing okay. because you'll permanently fix them. Yeah. So when you spray, don't do not do this. Do this. Let your spray waft over your surface. Okay. And you just, a little bit goes a long way. And the reason it's called Workable Fixative is you can go back and rework it after. So. If so you chalk, can chalk some more if you wanted yes, to. Yes, and if your chalk isn't bright enough, you can go back and you can just scribble on a second coat. And scribble is what I do. I use a nice circular motion, and I just and so scribble you can all use the way this through. Over the top of paint. Yes, I can. Okay. Over the top cool. of paint. And the, this book is all about chalk. This the background of this is Americana's chalky finish. Okay. Uh, I've done the back side. Here, we'll show you what it really looks like underneath. I have polka dots. Oh, that's so cool. This is done um, with, all the polka dots are done with a chalk pencil. And look at the base. You can see I painted it with romance, and the top color is new life. Okay. And let me set this back on. So show me how you do this lettering with this chalk, okay. because I, I think this is so much easier. Let's take a look, Patty, at this wonderful, Tis the Season to be Jolly. That's the first piece I did with this. And I'm going to show you the letter J. You simply have a black painted background. This background is painted with chalkboard paint, okay. the type of, of paint that you can make a real chalkboard out of. But you don't have to use that. You can just use black acrylic paint, okay. and it will work perfectly. I've traced my pattern on. I have a few smudges here, so please excuse those. Okay. I just have a basic shape, and I'm going in with my charcoal white pencil. And remember, if I have areas that I have little chalk dust that come, I can just clean those up with one of my foam detailers. I like to get the basic shape of the letter on first. And because if our mothers had all put paintbrushes in our hands, we'd all paint and nobody would be able to draw and, and scribble. Um, so this is really natural for us okay. to have that pencil in our hand. And I can take and I can make a nice little dot at the end. I can make thick and thin lines. I like to have my vertical lines thicker. Uh, think calligraphy, how you have the thick and thin lines. Uh, I can go around, I can widen this up just a bit, and at, you take a look at my little Santa, you'll see the J has lots of little detailing on that letter. So 
I'm so you even have a little drop shadow with the line. I have a drop okay, shadow. Okay, cool. And I'm going to put a couple more little lines on so that you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So you can take just a basic, basic uh, letter. This makes lettering so easy. So much easier. And if you have a little of Im imagination, you can go a long ways. If your imagination goes too far, this is chalk. You wipe it right off. That's awesome. Now here, I can, I'm can. i going to put this, just a simple little line across the top. I'll go back and, and thicken it up later. And I can put little lines right across, just freehand. You can eyeball this. You do not need a pattern to do so this. So any word that it's you so wanted simple. to print out in Word document, you could do this with, too. You could do that. And there are yeah. lots of commercial free fonts that you can search for okay. online to mm -hmm. give you ideas. And then, of course, Pinterest is right. a great Pinterest resource Pinterest is for this. great. Yeah. Then, if I want to put a drop shadow in, mm -hmm. and a drop shadow is that little line that's usually, uh, it can be on the right and the bottom, or it can be on the left and the top. Okay. I usually try to use those two areas. And I'm not worrying about keeping it too straight, because what I can do... I can go back with one of my brushes, okay. and Send them over to I can, Judy. and I can. Uh, I, I guess I should have gotten a little water here, Patty, to help clean up. But I can take a wet brush, and I can clean up my line. And this brush is what kind of brush is this? I'm using the IPC Small Point Blend. They're okay. very short. It's a sh bristle kind brush. of fat with a little point on it. Yeah. Yes, it okay. is, and I've got them in three sizes. And here, I actually have one that's wet. Hey. Oh, there you go. And I can go in and I can clean up and shape up any of my lines. If I think I've got one that's not quite right, I'll just take it up. I'll take it off. See, there you can see I'm starting to move that. And so I would always use clean water. And the other thing that I like to use, I like to use the foam blenders and these come in both a white and a black tip there's okay. no difference in the foam and <clears throat> I will simply go in and softly and blend. And this is kind of where it starts looking more like um, the chalkboard like messy kind of. Huh? Right. <sighs> and when when I uh, smudge that I'll just go back and clean that up with my wet detailer And you can see I can get a nice, sharp line. I'll usually blot on paper towel a little bit. That's amazing. So you can do all kinds of things. If you have an imagination on drawing, you can look at uh, fancy lettering and come up with all kinds of ideas. Here, I basically have an S shape, and I always like to use those S shapes to my advantage to get that thick and thin round that end up. Now when I'm all done and I've cleaned up everything, and of course I have got lots of cleanup to do here, but just to move this on a little quicker, I would uh, clean up everything and then I would simply waft my workable fix it all okay. to the top That's great. and not have to do anything more. So if I wanted to, I could also then go back and put that second coat of chalk okay. on okay. or I could go in with different colors. Sure. Now all these, all the, all the lettering, everything that you see has been done with a 99 cent charcoal pencil. Show me the highlights that you did on the Santa's face. Okay. On this little Santa, he's in the book. I love him. He's be a great beginner project. I have done highlights on his face, around his eyes. Uh, I added a couple little streaks of chalk on his eyebrows. All of the fun detailing on the outside edge, all of the little stars, and the Be Merry have all been done That's with chalk. Awesome. Even the see the little hair patty yeah. coming out here. I That's painted wonderful. this, but then I used that to give the lines. And on the fun Christmas ornaments. All of the stroke work has been done, as well as the uh, highlights on the ornament tops with the white charcoal pen. Well, that is so wonderful. I am so going to give this a try. I am excited. It's lots of fun. It's not hard. Just think of all the things that you have at home that you can add lettering to. Messages are really important. And so 
I, I hope you enjoy trying my chalk it up technique. I think it's going to be great. Thanks, it Judy. Will be great, Patty.